Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the temperance, and this is Sagittarius energy. So this is an energy of peace, balance, harmony, and patience. So there's definitely an energy here of someone who's trying to be more patient with this connection. They do want to compromise with you. There's a desire here to uh, have some sort of balance in this connection with you. And um, this person is taking a more peaceful approach because this is someone who wants peace with you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy, the Three of Swords in the Reverse, Air Energy, and the Empress, Venus Energy. So the Three of Swords is showing that there's some sort of disappointment that has occurred here, um, a lot of pain that has been endured in the situation, possibly suffering, and this person wants to bring peace back to the situation. And they feel like it's their responsibility to initiate that, to make some sort of a move to achieve that or to direct this connection towards a more peaceful outcome. With the page of wands being there, that is showing them making some sort of a move towards you, approaching you, reaching out to you, communicating with you. Um, because this person is seeing you in that empress energy. It's like you are attracting them towards you. Um, but it's like when they are approaching you they are coming with really good intentions this is very sincere gentle loving energy with that temperance being there but at the same time this person is confident that you guys can move past this three of swords they they are really feeling like they can make it work this person believes that this connection has a lot of potential and they also want to treat you like an empress regardless of your gender there's this energy of really wanting to take care of you um emotionally to be there for you to um to show you a love and affection because this is someone who sees you as someone who brings a lot of value to their life. Having you in their life makes it feel more promising and they really do believe in you. And there's a desire to um, connect with you, to collaborate with you, to produce something more. This person does see you as someone who's abundant and someone who is um, ideal to them. They see you as someone that they really want to be with and they want to work on having a, a mutually beneficial partnership with you. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So we have that Page of Wands, and we have the Eight of Wands. So this person is coming towards you quite soon with communication. There's an energy of them reaching out to you soon. Um, they have a lot they want to express to you, and there's an energy of not holding back, not allowing their ego to get in the way. This is someone who really wants to express themselves to you. So let's see. Okay, we have the Star card, Aquarius Energy. The Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and we have the Emperor, Aries Energy. So we have Divine Counterpart Energy here. So this person sees you as their Divine Counterpart. They see you as a wish fulfillment as well with that star card there. So this person sees a future with you, but there's a, this energy where they feel like they need to take responsibility in making something happen with you. They need to um, extend some sort of an offer to you or um, express something to you. And they mean what they say with the Ace of Pentacles, whatever they're offering you is something really solid and reliable. This person has a lot of hope, you know, with the star card, there's that energy of being hopeful, seeing a future here, thinking ahead. And there's also an energy of feeling like this is a divine connection. This person feels that they can't have this bond with anyone else. 
um, and we are seeing again the two counterparts the emperor does show an energy of someone who wants to take the lead they feel like they need to take the lead um, but they do want this connection to progress they want to move past any um, past disappointments and it's without sweeping anything under the rug they do want to address the three of swords they want to heal the three of swords and move forward um, there's a promise there's an apology there's an offer with that ace of pentacles and they want to take things to a new phase like they want to move out of that dark period and move into a new cycle one that's more promising okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you virgo okay so the card says don't let your past hold you back, South Node. So there is, again, that energy of wanting to move on, move forward from some sort of past disappointments. This person wants to put that behind. And there's an energy of wanting to address it, deal with it, so that you guys can move forward from it. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. So the card says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So we have the, the eight of wands is a very fast moving energy and the page of wands is there as well. So very soon you will be hearing from this person or they're going to be making a move very soon. This is someone who's actually very eager to um, address something and to heal this connection. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Virgo. So the card says honeysuckle, domestic happiness and devoted affection. I will win thee in my arms. So doth the wood bind, the honeysuckle gently in Swiss. So we have the emperor and the empress energy, which is an energy showing um, divine counterparts. But there's also an energy of wanting to be a couple with you, wanting to have a home with you, wanting to have that domestic happiness with you. This is someone who has a lot of love for you. And there's an energy of really almost doting on you, being very affectionate towards you, being very caring towards you and making you feel like you have security with this person. Um, this is with that emperor energy and that number four, there's an energy of someone who's there for you, someone who cares for you. And they're going to go out of their way to show this to you, to make you feel this care from them. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.